it's Monday 29th of March 2021 I hope you all got your clocks forward on Saturday night, Sunday morning I've seen a lot of people on Facebook talking about putting the clocks back but no I mean Spring forward, fall back. That's how we'll remember. Well, I'm just out along the Don't Walk. Got uh, a couple of cameras with us. I'm off today because I'm waiting for uh, delivery, which has already been. And uh, off tomorrow as well for two deliveries and then uh, back to it again so the last time I was out was along the river so I thought uh, get myself away along the don't walk as everybody probably knows that lives in the area or oh, this part of UK it's been very very windy for a few days now and it still is today but uh, I thought well I should get, get myself out I'm not sure how far I'm going yet but I'm not just going to uh, to the railway station I'm going beyond that, but I don't know how far yet. We'll, we'll see how it goes. As it goes. I've got my backpack and everything. Waterproof jacket in, just in case it rains. Or, oh, just in case I get too warm, I put my jacket in there. In the backpack. So far, so good. Pretty quiet. Uh, past two, going opposite direction to me. And uh, actually, I've just spotted something over there. Mm, no, I noticed that before. After all the times I've been coming down here. Let's go and have a, a wonder and see what it is. Well, this is what I spotted. Some kind of pipe. It's wide open and all. So obviously stuff comes running out of it. Brand new tennis ball down there golf balls down there of course the golf course is just over here surely the golfers can't be that bad anyway yeah so this looks like some kind of waste pipe or something I would have thought it would have had something over it of course stop kids going up in there or dogs or whatever. I cannot believe that golf ball came from the golf course which is over there. Right through these trees and I mean. Talking about golf courses, I think they can reopen the day. Um it's uh, lockdown's changing a little bit from today. You can mix with six people or something outside. I'm not sure of all the rules, like, but it's uh, confusing. It seems to uh, change day by day. So. Uh, Golf course is there. 
can't see anybody on it, like. And this, um, this house over here with a scaffolding up. Last time I filmed that. A couple of weeks ago or whatever. It had two chimneys, one on either side. And now they've been removed. That's the problem with these. There's the one there, look. If you can see on that house there. They're not real chimneys, they're just made of wood. So the builders made a big mistake. And they're letting water into people's lofts. So now they're having to come and remove them. This is uh, the last archway bridge. Before, oh no, sorry, it's not the second one. The last one's down there, just before the railway station. So, uh, making good time. And still out of the wind, of course, with these high sides. Be a lot more breezy when I get a bit further down, when the track becomes the same level as the, the ground on the outside. Sometimes the track's higher because it, on this side it drops away into fields. You may be able to hear the wind or the microphone going over my head. I've got me, uh, me microphone for the wind with us as well, so hopefully I shouldn't get too affected. It's a nice day actually if it wasn't for the wind and I've heard it's meant to be about 18 degrees tomorrow which is typical when I might have to stay in all day and wait for two deliveries coming but uh, well, we'll wait until tomorrow comes and find out I suppose Just approaching uh, the railway station anyway. So far, I've done 2.28 miles. So, on the way to three. Um, it's still windy, I haven't been directing any wind really yet. So, it's not bad. Never seen no deer or anything like that, not even a squirrel today. So far. There's not that many people on here. There's a few, but not many. Just keep passing the odd one. Which is good. Probably hear the wind there on the mic. It's just like... Uh, kind of gusty. It, it blows strong and then it just eases off and then comes back again. I'm all, almost down to uh, the Derwent Walk pub, it's just up here, just uh, up over that bridge I'm coming up towards, there's a few horses in the field, oh, I've got the coats on. And this one's got a postcode on its coat, and so there's another one over there. So, uh, seen one the other week like that. Actually, the, the one in the green, the one in the green jacket there, that's 
In fact, they've all got postcodes on them for them. This is where I've been a couple of times to stroke them. I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm, going, I'm, at, I'm at this seat here. I'm going to stop here for a second. And I'm going to put me wide angle lens on, which I, I've never tried yet. So I'll see what difference that makes. Right, that's a wide angle lens on. I'm just start walking in the middle of the path just to see uh, what the difference is. It looked a bit dusty like but I didn't have anything to clean it so uh, I just have to hope that's uh, working okay. Yeah, the Don't Walk pub is that. That building up there. So, uh, almost at Ebchester. I'll just keep this uh, lens on for a while. see how it performs it's just I mean it doesn't do anything special it's just meant to give you a wider angle that's all meant to see further to the side see. it came with the uh, with the camera I think I tried it maybe just once for a couple of minutes but uh, I forgot about it being honest with you look rubbish up there right up the top actually here Yeah, it turned out a nice day actually. So what Ebchester? Just there's a sign there. Historic Roman village of Ebchester. Well, it's nearly April. Another month gone by, almost. Into the fourth month of the year, coming up. Flying over, I mean. Flying over. First of April, uh, uh, well, certain things mean things to different people. And the first of April uh, is the one for me. Brings a memory back, if you like. Not a particular good one, like, but. Uh, Anyway, it brings the memory back. I'm heating up. I could be uh, taking the jacket off shortly. It's um, very warm now. Right, I'm going to take this... Uh, wide angle lens off and then compare without it. Now it's off. See what the difference is when I get it on the computer. Still heading away from home. Um, must be over three 
three mile now I think if I look but it'll be not far off if, if it's not still happy to keep going for a while anyway I'm enjoying the walk and I've had a walk for a good few days just passed a couple of people there were a couple of kids two women and two kids I'm just looking in these woods as I'm walking past because uh, the type of place where you would see some deer but uh, no, I've seen none as yet it's all quiet and as I say not even a squirrel yet you normally see a few by now very little birds as well of course winter nesting season now the next door neighbour's satellite dish has a bird's nest on the back of it uh, a collar dove decided to build a nest for the second year um, they only have two eggs and uh, a magpie took one of the chicks last year easy pickings on the back of the dish <coughs> just have to see what happens this year I mean I just happened to be there when I seen it I seen it fly away with a chick in its mouth horrible things are magpies though You don't see many out here, but you see a few around the doors, especially when it's breeding season because, uh, just as I said, they like to take the chicks out of nests. Blackbirds suffer badly with them. Uh, robins, they suffer badly with them. Once they know where the nest is, they just, I mean, they're, they're funny things, like they just sit and watch. A couple of days, sit and watch the blackbirds and that going in and out the bushes, and then they think that's all right. Chicks in there. And once they come for one, they're back and forward till they've emptied the nest. Cruel things, like, but. Well, it's nature, you can't really interfere. I would if I could, but you kind of be there all the time, that's the thing. I just checked and I've done uh, almost 7,000 steps. Well, I would have done by the time I get to this road across here. So for today, I'm going to turn around at that point and head back getting a bit hungry now had me breakfast early so uh, get back and um, sort this video out get it uploaded for everybody to see so it works out it's over three mile late. Somebody's car here. Never seen a car there before. Another one coming down the bank. So that's it. I've got no idea where that goes up there and no idea where it comes out down there. 
but uh, anyway that's for another day as you can see it's uh, well as you can hear it's windy up here and it's been very calm along along the path so uh, heading back time anyway well I'm back at the railway station very warm now like I mean I am not uh, it's not very warm outside it's just for walking that's all but uh, still a lot of wind up there I just heard a crack in the tree just back there was a golf ball that landed on the walk just behind us it's another near miss on early hut so anyway proves the golfers are back and obviously out to practice when I uh, fired onto the dune walk there was three of them teeing off obviously I don't know which one it was like but uh, one of them landed on the on the dune walk anyway well just come to the end been out about two hours been enjoyable so uh, as usual thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and you enjoyed it just means that uh, next time I make a video you'll be notified so uh, thanks to the subscribers who's been subscribing and the present ones as well stay safe take care see you in the next one hopefully might be tomorrow and it's supposed to be canny weather so here anyway bye for now